Hello folks, welcome back. So this is going to be a quick video. Uh, what we are going to learn in this video is, you know, how to enable SQL file scanning in SonarCube, right? Because SonarCube does not have capability to scan PL SQL files out of the box, okay? So you need to do that separately, okay? That is what, you know, we are going to do in this video, okay? So this is my website, coachdevops.com. I'm going to post the steps right below my video as well. Awesome. So let's get started. I do have SonarCube uh, configured here. Okay, so this is my SonarCube. I have already configured. If you look here, I don't have scanning for PL SQL file. You see here, right? I don't have PL SQL scanner here, right? So that is what, you know, we want to enable. Okay, so how to do that? So if you look here, there is a, you know, open source uh, SonarCube plugin, right? That can be downloaded from this website. Right? So you can always download the open source SonarCube plugin from this website. All you have to do is, you know, put in in your uh, extension folder in your SonarCube. Once you do that, you know, shut down your SonarCube and then restart, you're all set to go, right? So that's what we are going to do. Awesome. So if you look here, I have already connected to SonarCube through Git Bash, okay? All we have to do is, you know, navigate to the extension folder, uh, and then inside that there is a plugins folder, right? So I'm already there. Um, all I have to do is download the Sonar Cube and uh, a Sonar Cube uh, PL SQL plugin, right? So I'm going to download this way. So this is the command which is going to download from this website which, which we just talked about, right? Or from a GitHub, GitHub, you know, repo. Okay. Awesome. Let's go ahead and then do that. As you can see here, now the SQL plugin has been downloaded, right? Let me see if I can show you that real quick. Yeah, see here? This is the PL SQL plugin which we just downloaded, okay? So once you download that, all you have to do is, you know, stop the sonar cube. And then, you know, start the sonar cube. Okay? Once you do that, you can quickly check the status of that, right? So that is what it is, right? Okay, very good. And then you can quickly see if SonarCube is coming up. So let's see if SonarCube is coming up. It's gonna take few seconds to load. Okay, sonar cube is starting. It's going to take few seconds to load. Awesome. So sonar cube is up now. All you have to do is you know log in into sonar cube, and then if you go under uh, quality profile section, where you can see all those rules, right? Uh, let's scroll down there. Why wow, you see here? you are able to see the uh, rule set loaded for PL SQL file. This was not there before. So awesome guys, you know, that's how you can set up PL SQL open source plugin in SonarCube. Thank you for watching.